All right, so your most regrettable fashion choice. Then what about you, Greg? Mine was, do you remember, do you know what pegging your pants is? I know what pegging is. Oh, you yeah. know what pegging is, yeah. for sure. I do not know You're what pegging it. your pants is. So pegging your pants is when you take the bottom of your jeans where it meets your ankle, you fold it over one time, and then roll it up. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that. So, oh, that yeah, was big in middle school. Yeah. That's mega yeah. 80s. It was super 80s, but I took it one step further. I would peg my pants and then use not one, not two, but three safety pins to like pin up the part that flaps over yeah so basically every pair of pants i wore like tapered super th- you know to the ankle because uh-huh. i'd hated the look of jeans that weren't pegged and i would do that with every pair of pants i owned i would safety pin the i don't even know then what you call they that. eventually the, started making pins. like the cuff right yeah like the cuff i would yeah. i would mm-hmm. safety yeah. pin them shut so weird so dumb and yeah. I would never wear socks. I was like the no socks guy. Yeah. Hell yeah. Ew, so, but that looking back was so dumb. Uh, what about you, Rave? I wore a trench coat in high school, like from 10th to 12th grade. <laughs> trench <laughs> coat. Yeah, check out board. He's like, yeah. hell yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. What's Every wrong with day. that, Rave? Schuster. I don't know what the statement was. I uh. don't know why. <laughs> Every day. Was it black coat. or beige? It was black. Oh, really? Interesting. Heck yeah. <laughs> See, so, I believe that too. It was yeah. so dumb. <laughs> it's super Kevin Smith. And kids yeah. don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. And it, well, it's a fashion you that know, will never Kevin die. Kevin Smith wasn't a thing then. <laughs> yeah. He cribbed it for me, if anything. Yeah. No, I there was kids in my school that would wear trench coats. It's, well, it, but yeah. it was yeah, but so you came, weird. You came long after Ravy and yeah. her mm-hmm. trench coat day. Well, yeah. well, she was forward thinking. I was a thinking. pioneer. Yeah. She I was. was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Menace, I'm sure the... Yeah, there's the two, options here are just too many. They all yeah. look, we could be here all day with menaces. Yeah, yeah. frosted there was two, tips. Two yeah. that oh, stand yeah. out, but women's glasses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, women's glasses. But I, I think the two that stand out are. Um, I never bought a pair of Janko jeans, but um, probably like junior high, freshman year, I wore huge baggy pants. Probably like when I was 175 pounds, I would wear pants that were size like 46. <laughs> Oh like wow! Insanely baggy. You wore pants. like hammer pants, like almost, but they're jeans. Yeah, yeah. and you oh, can fit wow. like a textbook in the back yeah, pocket. I didn't my, realize you. these were a thing. My mom. Oh yeah. And my grandmother hated it. <laughs> Jinko. Oh yeah. yeah. I never had those those okay. brands. Yeah, Jinko. Because, that's probably the most common. Text yeah, those are the ones because they bell bottomed out. Like, yeah. Well, I would just wear regular jeans. I would just like <laughs> not still see those at the gathering of the Juggalos, right, C-Mask? Yeah. That's well, about the only place. You, yeah, and raves. Apparently, you can see they're style. coming back too. Oh, good. And then also, <laughs> I think maybe this was just like if you were a skater thing, like skateboarding, but like. Uh, I would take socks and I'll put it under the tongue of my shoe and like make the shoe like really puffy or like cut out tongues of other shoes oh, and then yeah. put the tongue under oh. the the tongue of the shoe just to make the shoes look like huge oh, and wow. bulge out. Yeah. Weird. I've never even heard weird. of that. Yeah. It was just, I don't know. You just make them huh. like, look they look like moon like boots. boots. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Weird. Yeah. It was crazy. Okay. Mine easily is when I had my ear pierced. Mm-hmm. Like, because at first, you remember, it was only the one ear that was supposed to be pierced. It had right. to be your left ear, because if it was your right ear, that meant that you were clear. Right. Okay. All right, so it was the left ear, and I had one of those dangly little, like, Barry Bonds cross. <laughs> like, and it's yeah, in my George senior Michael had photo, one of those. too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, bring that in. Yeah, that, well, I, I, yeah, if I find it, I'll bring it in. I'm not a big picture keeper. I'm yeah. sure, like, my mom might have one she somewhere. Might. Yeah, but, like, there I am. And that stupid like neon background for your senior picture. Didn't yeah. you have a choker yeah. necklace too? Like that wasn't a. It was yeah. one of those ball bearing. It wasn't a, a ball bearing one. Yeah, yeah. ball bearing choker. choker. That was super cool too. Oh hell yeah! Yeah man. With chain wallets. And then you eventually pierced both ears, right? Yeah, because then yeah. it was no longer right. cool just to have the one. Exactly. Now you had to have the other one. Right. And that's the one when I got it uh, pierced. I was with Mike the Show Killer. We were hammered in New York City, <laughs> and yeah. it was an impromptu decision at four o'clock in the morning. Oh good. And then we passed out in Howard Stern's green room. My face <laughs> on cushions where strippers and uh, of course, yuck. other Yum. nasty individuals had been uh, sitting waiting to go on to the Howard Stern show. Gross. Oh, yeah. It was, uh, <laughs> it was quite the evening. <laughs> 